going on there guys good morning good afternoon to some out there it is the earth master here on the live stream uh, it is wednesday december 22nd uh, 2021 about 10 50 p.m or at a.m i should say california time not ready for bed quite yet uh latest earthquake a 3.5 earthquake in the puerto rico area you can see that earthquake uh, just scaling the scroll right there at the petrolia station indicating uh, continued earthquake activity along the northern california coastline as well let's go ahead and check out uh, some details on the latest map from the usgs showing the uh, earthquake activity around the northern california area 2.0 right uh right around the swarming area where we've seen this deeper movement so activity continuing in the northern california region right around the mendocino triple point junction where the uh earthquake uh, hit a couple days ago the 6.2 i do want to see if i can bring up all the magnitudes here and this is not this technically this is not all the magnitudes i'm sure there's a lot more than this that the usgs uh, will include eventually after looking at all the data there are some that's missing unfortunately but uh it is what it is we can only um, watch and observe the activity that's going on here in the uh, northern california area did see some deeper movement up here, uh, almost a 40 kilometer deep 3.0 earthquake that was uh, earlier, or actually last night around Willow Creek region, 37.3 uh, kilometers, and also some activity around the Covalo region as well. This one a very shallow crustal earthquake, 3.4 uh, on the depth there. You can see the uh, indicated the surface feature of that quake. So looking at this movement here, uh, over the last 24 hours let's go ahead and just pull up the last day got about uh well, a few earthquakes about six right all in all in total 114 according to the usgs here uh, where the uh, 6.2 struck on the uh, 20th a couple days ago like i mentioned you can see that line of activity stretching from the main quake inland into the southern end of the cascadia down dip region so i believe uh this earthquake played a uh, kind of had a, a big deal to the southern end of the Cascadia. Uh, no, we have not seen a mega quake yet, uh, but the activity is still there. And looking at the regional map here, you can see uh, activity still hitting the North American continent here. You can see this line of activity right up against the Rocky Mountains stretching down uh, through the Utah area in a uh, kind of like a half circle fashion. Uh, so that tells me right there, we still got quite a bit of regional pressure uh, within this area uh, so not out of the woods yet for potential further movement in the northern california area uh, looking at uh, inland seen some activity in the sierra nevadas with a 2.4 this one pretty deep as well 14 kilometers underneath the sierra nevada mountain range uh, it's kind of close to mount lassen mount lassen sits up here about 20 miles or so to the north uh, working our way down south looking like a uh, kind of spotty when it comes to earthquake activity over the past um, few days in this region of California. We haven't seen a whole lot of uptick in our normal swarming areas such as the uh, Antelope Valley area, Long Valley Supervolcano and Ridgecrest, uh, even out here around the Tonopah area, just a couple small uh, earthquakes. The uh, movement around Ridgecrest, the fracture area, which runs from uh, roughly about here down uh, only showing some small movement uh, we are still seeing some individualized swarming around the coso volcanic uh, range this area up here the landscape tells us uh, kind of paints us a history of, uh, of volcanic activity within this region uh, looks like about three to four kilometers below the surface for this little swarming of uh, microquakes within that region that's been kind of on an uptick here over the last week in two individualized spots one up here to the north uh, about a kilometer or so and then one down to the south today uh, so kind of watching that region uh, for some uh, further movement i don't believe it's <clears throat> i don't believe it's a, a magma or volcanic yet uh, but i will be keeping an eye on that region uh, if you can't tell still kind of got a cold kids were sick here in the house so of course that's inevitable uh, that uh, one would get it <laughs> so i'm kind of fighting that off a little bit uh, let's see here what else we got down in the southern cal area 
Uh, some movement, a little swarming of activity also around the Ellesnor Fault, the uh, Julian section. See up here in the uh, Pelamar Mountains, some activity. We were looking at this yesterday as well. Some of this movement uh, somewhat deep. Where's this one at? This is 13 kilometers way up here to the north. Uh, but the majority of this activity about six kilometers uh, through the Intermountain West region, through southern Utah, and areas around Cedar, Utah, still seeing some activity ramping up, stretching up towards the Yellowstone region. Yellowstone today looks pretty quiet, though. Uh, as far as the Yellowstone map goes, we can check that here real quick while we're at it and you can see there on the map not a whole lot uh, to look at some activity that's at uh, the uh, six pointer from yesterday or late last night showing up on the Maple Creek sections or Maple Creek seismographs up here but uh, overall we'll go ahead and zoom in to a closer detailed look at some of some microquake activity occurring around the northwest corner of the park. That's going to be these individualized peaks, these little sharp uh, signatures there on the Yellowstone graphs indicating localized earthquakes. Uh, the rest of the park looks pretty quiet, not a whole lot going on. Uh, back to the earthquake map here regionally uh, throughout the states. We did have some activity once again down in the Texas area in Oklahoma, but you notice Pecos, Texas over here has gone absolutely quiet now for a couple days. Uh, New Madrid zone very quiet as well. Alabama has seen a 3.1 earthquake near Maplesville, Alabama. Uh, looks like this was felt uh, over, over a small little area, but by quite a few folks there. You can see uh, some light to uh, potentially moderate shaking being reported around the Alabama area, Maplesville, Clanton. Uh, Thorsby area looks like uh, quite a few folks uh, called in reporting the uh, earthquake that was felt there 3.1 the depth very shallow zero kilometers a surface quake uh, New Madrid is pretty quiet areas east of this earthquake uh, not a whole lot going on along the eastern coast uh, we're still looking at some further movement up in the Alaska region where they had this uh, almost 6.0 right Kind of got bounced all over the place, 5.9 around the Cook Inlet north of there. Uh, still seeing a little bit of activity, not too much aftershock sequences here with this 5.9, though it was 152 kilometers deep. Uh, subduction zone earthquake. Since then, we have seen some further back building uh, and some further subduction here towards the surface areas with some pretty shallow earthquake movement uh, on the Pacific Plate side of the Aleutian Trench and uh, some further activity along the Aleutian Trench here. Uh, some further shallow earthquakes and a few deep ones in there as well. Japan still remains very quiet within this trench here. And uh, a little activity up here to the north in Russia. Uh, let's see what else we got. Not a whole lot going on here in the northern part. Even spotty activity throughout the Indonesia area with a couple uh, five pointers, some shallow and some deep ones in that movement over the last 24 hours. Uh, near India, 4.9, 23 kilometers for that earthquake. I uh, did see some movement up here earlier this morning, once again, around the Iceland area. There's definitely some volcanic activity up there. Uh, we'll probably cover that a little bit more uh, detail uh, tonight once I look at the uh, activity. Uh, South Sandwich Islands did see a, I could have swore that was a, uh, there it is. I knew there was one hiding underneath here. A 5.9. This came through last night as a 6.0, uh, ultimately downgraded to a 5.9. And then looks like they had a little bit of activity here recently um, with a, uh, a 5.1 further into the, uh, actually about the same level below this, into the uh, subduction zone here. We have been seeing a uh, trail of activity into the subduction zone with some back uh, building pressure here with some surface quakes up here at 6.0 and then we had the other 6.0 a little bit further south uh, so still kind of keeping an eye on that region there for some further movement uh, South America ha has remained relatively quiet with only one 4.1 in the Argentina area deep subduction zone quake at 
6.3 kilometers there around the Peru Chile Trench. Uh, let's see, Puerto Rico has been having a little uptick in movement right along the Puerto Rico Trench area, stretching back towards the uh, Dominican Republic area. <clears throat> uh, 3.5, the latest quake around that region at 26 kilometers. Quite a bit of movement uh, around the southwest area of Puerto Rico as well. Uh, let's see what else we got here, folks. Um, tremor last night. Uh, I didn't get a chance to do an update video last night um, before the tremor came, or actually uh, after the tremor came out. There was only a small amount of tremor, but once again located in the northern California area at the uh, southern end of the uh, Cascadia. So still quite a bit of pressure and buildup here along the southern end of the Cascadia. 37 epicenters of tremor. Uh, that took place yesterday in that region. Hawaii activity. As we check in here, southeast region looking uh, pretty active, uh, which is average and typical. And up here east of the uh, Kilauea volcano, we got the uh, some movement very close to the coast. Fern Forest, Hawaii area, some deeper activity. A couple twos kicking off in that region. The rest of the Big Island looks pretty. Uh, Quiet in terms of uh, some earthquake activity. Uh, what else we got? Solar weather is still kind of kicking here, folks, on the map. We'll go ahead and check this out. Uh, looks like we've seen a couple M flares over the last 48 hours. You can see here on this chart a couple of those uh, reaching that M level threshold. Looks like, uh, at least recently, we had almost another M flare. Looks like an upper sea flare uh, on this chart. You can see the solar flare class chart. Uh, sea flare remains at 90%, uh, M flare at 25%, and a 5% chance of an X flare. Geomagnetic storming looks calm, at least tonight. Uh, ramping up a little bit over the next couple days as we work our way towards uh, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Uh, sunspot activity, still pretty, uh, pretty impressive looking here on the sun. It's very active. All these sunspots still popping and crackling, but uh, working their way, uh, going to be facing away from us here pretty soon as they work their way over here on this side of the sun. And uh, we, we do have some further activity ramping up behind it. You can see all this movement here, uh, kind of newer activity. So something to watch here in the coming days for uh, renewed flare threat. All right, guys, have a good day. We'll be back a little bit later on. I'm going to try and get some medicine here for the cold and uh, see if I can't keep my voice for the update later. Have a good one, everyone. Peace out.